Look, I, man. I love how, at, at how you look at your salary and laugh because you I'm usually like. Ah! You gotta, you gotta, you gotta. Too but that's, funny. That's that's one way to start a Friday oh, going into the weekend, better. man. Crazy mm -hmm. stuff. But the laughter continues right now. Um, it's time for the Friday Funnies, yes, brought to you, of course, by the Cape Town Comedy Club, where we take a look at the biggest stories of the week to find a bit of humour in the crazy world that we live in. Now, here to help us this morning is comedian Devin Gray. Now, Devin, what's been happening in the world, brother? Welcome. What's happening? Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Man. Good. Okay. <laughs> Happy days. Happy days, indeed, man. That was quite uh, interesting. That was interesting. Um, that's they do better than I've done at some of my gigs. So oh. that's, uh, <laughs> yeah. You need that guy. Listen, I heard about an interesting festival. I've actually never heard of this festival before. Mm -hmm. The fire. It's the first fe festival. The first fire festival. Oh. Probably oh, the, the last. One. Okay. Fire festival. <laughs> it's a festival that's run by Ja Rule, uh -huh. which he's he's quite cool, I guess. And um, it's twelve thousand US dollars for a ticket. Wow. To this festival, and they actually take you, fly you to the Bahamas, where they were going to have bands like Blink-182, MGMT. However, none of the bands pitched up, none of the catering companies pitched up, and this is what happened to the festival. Are you kidding no me? No one could leave, no planes were taking them home. It's amazing. What? Shocking. Yeah. I feel like this so what, was... They were the, stranded in the Bahamas? Yeah, they're stranded in the Bahamas. It's not a bad thing, I guess. With no food. Yeah. Oh, well, they, there we go. They were struggling to, to find food. I feel like their parents put them up to this and gave them, here, you can have 12,000 Rand for this ticket <laughs> just to <laughs> find out if they would be able to survive on their own. <laughs> and they that didn't. That is crazy. But that those, is crazy. Yeah. All right, cool, man. I feel like, although I feel like 12,000 Rand, 12,000 yes. dollars a ticket. Yeah. They may as well have come to Africa Burn which is here, and then we can just take our country out of junk status. Like, that's... You know? True. Probably you know? Uh, Invested you know? right back into, into <laughs> And it was a country. good festival. <laughs> yeah. You know, they were catering, they were musicians, it was great. <laughs> Listen, we spoke about this, of course, during the, the, the course of the week as well. Something called napper-sizing. What's the deal here? British gym offers napping classes. Oh, yes. Yeah. So this sounds like something that's very near and dear to my heart. So mm -hmm. it's, um, it's for people that are stressed. Yeah. They go to a gym where they are coached on how to nap. Which is perfect. Cool. I feel like we've taken it up a notch though here in South Africa. We just, you know, home affairs. <laughs> we just, like it's a job. You can, you can actually nap on the job. <laughs> this is very interesting. Yeah. I would like to do some napper sizing. Um, napper -sizing. I have a question for you. I, I read a story about a boxer and there was a mailbox involved. What is the deal? Um, those are actually two separate stories. Yeah. Um, you've got, uh, there's, there's the big boxing championship that, yeah. that took place and then Someone took the title, and now he has to... I can't say his name. I keep forgetting his name. Okay. But Anthony, Anthony, Anthony Joshua went against Klovski. Klitschko. It's a, it's a, Klitschko. It's a very, it's a very difficult, difficult <laughs> name. Okay, so Klovski. I have no idea. Yeah. Anyway, so now he has to go up against Mike Tyson, and yeah. that's like... I mean, it's not, it's not a fun thing to go up, but it is one of the biggest things in, um, in boxing, boxing yeah. to happen. But also talking about violence against mailboxes, there was a man who walked around his, his neighborhood naked, punching people's mailboxes but over. why? Uh, no reason. What did the mailbox do to you? There's, there's, he, he gave no he reason. He got in the mail. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. There That's why. <laughs> so, there big, there big, big boxing news this week. <laughs> mailboxing is a big thing for, for this week. Jeez, some random, oh, random mailboxing. stories. Jeez, man, so thank they, you so, so much, David. Essentially, it was the same thing. Males boxing and male, male boxing. boxing. Oh, yes. Very, very nice. Anyways, oh, Devin, thank yeah, you Yeah, there was a pun so there. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. Thank you so much for visiting us cool. today. Cool, thank Absolutely you. Absolutely amazing. And, of course, giving us a look at the funniest side of issues that sometimes leave us uh, scratching our heads. Uh, if you want a laugh this weekend, why don't you head down to the Cape Town Comedy Club at the V&A Waterfront?